Penang is a street food paradise where gaining weight is mandatory, but breaking the bank isn't. Char Kway Tiao with duck egg cost 5 ringgit and 30 cents. In this episode, we are going to showcase 10 iconic street foods in Penang, highlighting what this island is famous for and contrasting the flavors. You got the nice crunchy bits of the coconut and the crunchy palm sugar in there too. Make these foods stand out. We are so hooked on this nutmeg. It's a very light, great snack. Spotlighting the incredible diversity of Malaysia. What is a food crawl cheap eat style in Malaysia without the classic national dish? It literally translates to fatty rice. Right, so we're at the Sri Weld Food Court here in Georgetown. It's a very popular spot, especially for the office workers that work nearby for lunch. And we got this nasi lemak, very famous from a spot called Ali Nasi Lemak, right in the front. You can't miss it. You just see them building all these nasi lemak in the bungkus, the wrap with the banana leaf. Sambal does have a kick. The rice cooked perfectly. Slight coconut flavor, not overwhelming on it. You really taste that sambal. That sambal hits you in the mouth right away. believe this char kway tiao with duck egg cost 5 ringgit and 30 cents. We are at Bazaar Le Bou Cecil. There's so many different stalls you can get food here for under 6 ringgit. But we keep coming back to this char kway tiao stall because the big thing about it, he's using charcoal on the wok, which we love. If you saw our video on noodles here in Penang, you know we love that. And it's a nice portion that you get for the five ring at 30 cent. You get, the, you get two prawns, you get your lap chunk sausage in here, the big, big amount of the duck egg, you get the cockles, you get it all. You take a nice big bite here. Mm. The wok hay on this truck with tail is insane. Uncle's got so much skill there on the walk. Uh, this is this is one of the best truck we tell we've had all of Penang, and we've had some of the best. It's rakes right up there with it. Definitely under the radar. Come and check them out. We have low back. If you are not familiar with what low back is. I think you can describe this as sausage in a spring roll, but this one is very different. We love lobak. We just can't get enough. You smell that aroma when it's frying up. These are such a staple here in Penang. So it has like Hokkien roots to it, and they use five spice powder in here. You see the actual strips of pork here inside? They wrap it in tofu skin, fry it. But the cool thing with this stall, even if the lobak is already made and ready, she puts it in the oil again and fries it again. So it's gonna be extra crispy. This stall is very famous because it's gone through for generations. It's the 1930s, the original owner. It's been passed through four generations in a family. So that's why we really wanted to try this one. And each lobak is only two ringgit. So we got two orders, only four ringgit. You really can't go wrong at that price. I'm gonna try a bite first by itself before trying with the sauce. These are just so addictive. You have that really strong five spice flavor in the meat. Then you have that nice tofu skin wrapping on the outside. There's just enough to keep it together. It's like Jumi was saying, it does remind you kind of a cross between a sausage and a spring roll, but much, much, much thinner than a spring roll. And we got here, you can get a sweet dipping sauce or spicy, mix it together. Dipping sauce is nice, but 
I gotta tell you, there's so much flavor in this lobak. It tastes so good by itself. I'd rather just eat it just like this. The stall is like in the middle of all these hawker stalls on the side of the road. I think you can call it a street food. Cheap eats edition won't be complete without Malaysia's favorite snack, kueh. The different varieties of kueh that they have so from here to down here. And the people here are very nice. We have different kueh here. There's kueh lapis, bolot tai tai, chai tau kueh. This one is Sri Muka, Binka Ube. This spot is a classic. This place dates back to 1933. It's called Motang Fio. It's in just off of Chulia Street here, and they specialize in Yonya Kuei. So it's a family-owned business, been in here for generations. They're not the cheapest Kuei you can find in Penang, but you can get a whole plate like this for under six ringgit, which is what we have. So you, they range from about 60 cents, 80 cents. Some are a little more if you get the bigger ones, but we got some of our favorites here, especially this beauty right here, the Pulut Tai Tai, far my favorite blue and white color. It's, the blue comes from the natural coloring from the butterfly pea flower. Top with that lovely kaya jam right here. That pandan coconut egg jam right here. I'm gonna take a bite. This one right here. Mm. Glutinous right texture. Perfect level of sweetness, it's slight salty. And you get that strong pandan flavor from that kaya, man. You have the srimukha right here. It's a layer of pandan, and then you have the layer of the glutinous rice. Mm. There's a great contrast of that chewy glutinous rice. Then you get that really luscious, creamy layer of the pandan on top. Mm. Man. Definitely a place you want to come check out because they're making everything fresh in the front. It's a cool cafe. It's a very old building too. So you really feel like you step back in time when you come here. You can't come to Penang and not have the famous Teochew Chendo. Mm. It's all refreshing. And normally this block is going to be full of people. We're, out, we're here at an off hour. And this spot's so legendary, they even have a mural right there of the chendol. The chendol, you have the gula malaka right here. It's actually mixed with the ice, the fresh santan, coconut milk, green pandan noodle, and the red bean. Three point three ring it for a bowl like this. Three ring at 30 cents, so refreshing, can't go wrong. Classic, first chendol we ever had in our lives was from right here. That was in 2017. 2017. We've heard that nutmeg is a big thing in drink here in Penang. It's so hot today. Auntie, just make it right there, fresh. And they have this in this humble store, you can't even tell. Their best seller might be ice kapal. We haven't tried, I don't know if we're going to try the ice kapal because we are so hooked on this nutmeg. Every part of the fruit has its purpose. You can make it into spice, the skin for spice, to food coloring. You can make it into a juice, like what we're having now. And apparently, nutmeg is rich in antioxidants and vitamin C. So you may know nutmeg the spice, but there's nutmeg the juice here too. This is a thing in Penang. You could smell that kind of spice aroma like the nutmeg spice you may be used to, but 
Gonna take a sip of this. Mm. One of the most refreshing drinks I think I've ever had. So it's got a little sweetness to it. It's got a little bit of sourness too, because she also puts Assam, the sour plum in here. But it has that underlying spice aroma, like and spice flavor, like you get from nutmeg spice that you would grind up. And you know, this is not the cheapest drink in the world. It's at four ringgit, but if you think about it, this is fresh nutmeg juice. And we're actually on the really touristy street, Armenian street, where all the street art is. But it's a great buy actually for four ringgit, under one dollar for this fresh nutmeg juice. You could only get here in Penang. You have to have this multiple times. You suggest ultimate thirst quencher here. are at Padang Kota Lama. It's in Medan Solera with a beautiful view. Unfortunately, we can't sit outside because it's quite drizzling today and we're having Rojak. 101 Rojak. First time trying it. We've always seen it on menus in Malaysian restaurants, even in New York City, we just never tried it. And it's definitely got a funky look to it. Unripe fruits, so it's the sour fruits, and it's covered in this really interesting looking black sauce that's made with a shrimp paste. There's uh, palm sugar in here, there's crushed peanuts, a bit finely crushed. And I actually added the sotong, the squid. And you get different portion sizes here, so it's definitely a great cheap eats because you can get the small for only three ringgit. But this one we got it for five ringgit. And actually when I asked for the sotong, I thought it would cost more, but it was actually still five ringgit. It's a try. Not sure what fruit this is, about to find out, but. Mm. Slight bit of spiciness in there, sweet. You definitely taste that funk of the shrimp paste in there. Definitely reminds me of like patisse that I've had before, like Indonesian fermented shrimp paste. And you definitely taste that peanut flavor. Even the texture of this sauce is very kind of gloopy. And I got I really get a nice bite of that peanut flavor just there. But I'm gonna take a couple pieces of the sotong, the squid, give that a try. Yeah, squid's got a nice clean flavor to it. Yes, it's one of these like strangely like more and more delicious as you eat it kind of dishes. Definitely an ugly delicious kind of thing. So I love this spot. It's right here in the middle of like the business district here in Penang. It's called Karim Pasambor Roljak. So it's like right in the center of everything. It's been here about 75 years. It's been doing a very long time. And I love it because you could get anything you want. So you get the champur, the mix for a six ringgit, and it's up to guys there to mix it up for you. They, they put whatever they want in there, chop it up, and they douse it in the sauce. Different fritters in here. There's cucumber, there's squid, and we also got our tea halia or ginger tea. Uh, First time trying this, I'm really excited. So, bunch of different fritters. You know, it's like shrimp fritters, there's potato, there's egg, there's cucumber that's been freshly grated, there's squid in here, all types. Mmm. I like it. You do taste a little of that peanut, but it's also sweet. Chewy squid, crispy shrimp fritter. Mmm. But the beauty is when you mix in all the other ingredients, you start getting all these different textures like fresh, crisp cucumber in there. But also when you come here, you can you can really ball out if you like. You can get like squid and shrimp. You can make this like a really massive plate. But for six ring, you get a, a plate this size of food that's tasty like this. It's a great buy. Definitely recommend when you're in Georgetown. All right, got ourselves a nice midday snack right here. It's called putu mayong. So it has uh, Indian roots here. And you see it's made with rice flour. They put some gula malaka, the palm sugar here and grated coconut, look at that. It looks beautiful, this is all, and they wrap it up here, it's all mixed together. Looks almost like vermicelli noodles. A big, big bite of this. Mm. Not too sweet, it's got a nice coconut aroma, and you got the nice crunchy bits of the coconut and the crunchy palm sugar in there too. And they also sell a green one made with pandan, I'm really excited for it. Really nice natural pandan color, and it makes sense because it actually had a whole bucket of fresh pandan leaves here. This looks really good. I'm about to take a nice big bite with that grated coconut and palm sugar. There you go. Get that nice bite right here. Mmm. 
it's a nice light sweet snack for the middle of the day and it makes sense they only open up at three o'clock they run until about 10 p.m and right here on the roadside each pack is only two ringgits really cheap really delicious freshly made really can't go wrong Outside Penang City Stadium, and right there is the Madan Solera. Next stop on our cheap eats tour here in Penang is for another Penang specialty called Popia. Popia is the fresh spring roll here, so the outside of it is kind of like a crepe, it's like a very thin dough layer, and inside is filled with veggies. Really excited for this, and it's only 1.5 ringgit per roll. So we got two of them, three ringgits here. Take a bite. Mm. So there's also uh, chopped up long beans here too. So you get that little bit of sweetness and earthiness from the turnips. And then you get that uh, sambal has got a very slight bit of spiciness, but it's more sweet. And again, it's just that nice fresh flavor from the lettuce, the long beans. This is great. This is, this is great for, well, pescatarians. There is that little bit of shrimp. Maybe you can ask for no shrimp, but it's a very light, great snack.